man, I've only seen this on TV. But why is it happening here to me? What's up with this blurry stuff? Let it go. Yep, this is about other people's property. Okay, okay, okay. Intellectual property is everywhere and it's hiding in plain sight. Have you ever admired a piece of artwork? Purchased a shirt featuring your favorite brand's logo? Lit up your room with the flick of a light switch? If so, you've engaged with intellectual property. In fact, it's something we encounter every single day. The name intellectual property can be a bit misleading. We often think of property as something physical, a piece of land or a personal belonging. The term intellectual property, however, is a legal term and refers to the creations of the human mind, most of which are intangible. When someone writes a piece of literature, paints on a blank canvas, or invents a new contraption, they have created intellectual property. Now there are three main categories of intellectual property law, trademarks, copyrights, and patents. And each of these categories is eligible to receive protection under the law. Intellectual property laws are in place around the world to make sure that the owners of the intellectual property, either individuals or businesses, can protect their ideas and reap the benefits of their creations. By protecting the rights of innovators, intellectual property law encourages scientific, artistic, technological, and commercial progress. So what exactly can you protect as your intellectual property? Let's take it one category at a time. First up, trademarks. Trademarks are signs that are capable of distinguishing the goods or services of one business from the goods and services of another business. In other words, trademarks are brand names and logos. Think of your favorite soda or pair of shoes. The trademark on those goods identifies their source, and that's the purpose of a trademark. When you see a trademark, you should be able to answer the question, who made this product or provided this service? Trademarks are typically words and designs or a combination of the two. However, trademarks can also be sounds, colors, scents, or even the way particular product looks. If you look around the room, you will likely be able to identify many different trademarks. Remember, if it helps you to distinguish who made the product, it's likely a trademark. Next up, copyrights. Copyrights protect original artistic or literary works. Works covered by copyright include music, paintings, books, photographs, films, and more. In fact, copyrights even protect works like computer programs, maps, and technical drawings too. A copyright gives the creator of an original work exclusive rights to it, typically for a limited period of time. This means that the owner has control over how the work is used by others. In the majority of countries, copyright protection is obtained automatically without the need for formal registration. So next time you write a poem or snap a photograph, remember that your work is protected by copyright. However, formal registration has many benefits, including the ability to enforce your rights through litigation, that is, lawyers duking it out, and to seek monetary damages in the event of a lawsuit concerning your copyright. Now we're on to the last of these three categories of intellectual property, patents. Patents protect inventions, like the light bulb or that 3D printer. An invention, broadly speaking, is a product or process that provides a new way of doing something or offers a new technical solution to a problem. The patent owner is granted the exclusive right to stop others from commercially making, using, distributing, importing, or selling the invention without the owner's permission. This is a little tricky and nuanced. The patent is not about giving you, the inventor, permission to make the invention, but the patent is your legal protection to block others from doing it for a certain period of time. During that time, the public can learn from the valuable information in the patent so they can later improve upon the invention or even make their own. If you are ready to begin innovating, start by asking yourself, what is a problem that needs fixing? The solution to that problem might just very well be the beginnings of your first patentable invention. In addition to trademarks, copyrights, and patents, intellectual property also includes trade secrets, which protect confidential business information, such as the 
secret formula for making a certain cola beverage and publicity which protects against the misuse of a person's name, image, or likeness from commercial benefit. Your intellectual property is a highly valuable asset. As you create new things, come up with innovative ideas, and begin your entrepreneurial journey, protecting intellectual property should remain a top priority. And that's OPP. If you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and comment below.